What's up guys, Robert here, just making a quick video today. So um, I've got this toolbox for my uh, new truck. I'll make a video about that at another point as far as new vehicle added to the garage. But I got this toolbox for my dad, it's about 24 years old or so. And I was gonna do a quick video on how to get it polished up and looking like new. So you can go from something like this of a finish to something like that. So just uh, making a quick video real quick um, with this product that I saw online and just showing you how to use it and get great results with very little uh, elbow grease. Alright, so starting it off, um, the products that I'm going to be using are a California Customs aluminum deoxidizer. And that's uh, step one, as you can see, you'll be using that first. The second product you use is this purple metal polish. Both of these um, are made by California Customs, and you can find these on Amazon. I'll leave the link. I think both of these bottles were about $18 online, and both of them are 12 fluid ounce bottles. So what you're going to need for this um, is some sort of rubber glove I, glove I would recommend a microfiber that's going to get really dirty so I'd find some trash ones or uh, whatever you're not planning on reusing again um, an old scrap piece of carpet whatever you can find nothing fancy or expensive just scrap piece of carpet you got laying around um, I originally started off using this brush it seemed to work okay it just Whenever you were scrubbing, uh, definitely made a lot of splatter everywhere. So if you want a cleaner uh, job, then I'd recommend the carpet. And then just a regular uh, wash rag or uh, cleaning towel, something, not a microfiber. The microfiber seems to have an issue with um, it absorbs the liquid too much or it doesn't really absorb it that well. But when it does, then it holds on to it too much. So just a regular uh, rag. So starting off, you have your not you know just clean surface, and I haven't even washed this prior to videoing, so this is straight off the back of my pickup. So just put on your glove, and what you'll do is fold this up to a smaller size. So I normally fold it up to about that size, and you will. Get, your prep, get the step one aluminum deoxidizer and just put some of that on the rag. You don't need a ton, just enough to make the rag wet. And then from there, you're going to start to apply that to a certain area of the toolbox. Not the whole area, but just a certain, maybe about a six inch by six inch area or a little bigger, just depending on how much product you have. So what you want to do is you want to go in four different directions. You want to go in the direction of the diamonds, one set of the diamonds. Then you want to go in the direction of the other set of the diamonds. Then you want to go in clockwise motion. And then you want to go in a counterclockwise motion. And so what you'll do is you'll start to see as you apply this deoxidizer, you'll start to see that you begin to get like a dull but clean finish onto the metal and you'll start seeing the rag will get very dirty and you don't need a ton of product but you do want to make sure that your rag is wet um, with the product as you're doing this so you'll just you don't need a ton of elbow grease just really don't tire tire yourself out with this just take your time and you know I'm in the garage right now it's about 93 degrees but I got the fan blowing and so it's not not overly hot in the garage it's a little warm but not too bad so you do a little bit of that I'll add a little bit more I feel like it needs it and just you know I'll extend my area just a little bit um, and like I said you just want to get a nice kind of dull clean finish is what you'll see and I'll try to show you that here in just a second um, or I'll take a look at the camera here and see if you can tell the difference but you'll just follow these diamond plates and you'll do your 
clockwise rotation. Maybe you'll do your counterclockwise rotation. This box is super old. If you have a box that isn't, you know, 20 years old, maybe a few years old, and it's starting to get dull, I mean, this thing, your box will look brand new. This is a 20-something year old box, and it still looks, still looks great. So right there, um, you can kind of see the difference in the line. But I'll show you. So from here, you can see it's very dirty. And then over here, you can see where I've just cleaned it. It kind of has a matte, kind of a white look to it. Um, a lot cleaner compared to this spot over here, you can see. So that's what the deoxidizer is going to do. It's going to kind of give you a white spot. And you can see right now with my shadow, you can kind of see this area right here that I've applied the product. So once you've done that, You'll then get your carpet, piece of carpet, and you'll get your purple, step two, the polish. And you don't need a lot with the carpet, it really goes a long way. So just apply a little bit there on the end of the, pro of the uh, carpet pad. You know, do the same directions, um, counterclockwise, clockwise, you know, up northeast direction and then you know a uh, northwest direction so we'll do the same thing so as you do this you'll see that the area begins to get very black very dark and that's fine that's just showing that the stuff is working correctly so don't don't worry about that you don't have to if it gets black that doesn't mean you're not making any progress or you're just rubbing in dirt uh, you know that's fine that's what it's meant to do so You'll just do your clockwise directions first. And like I said, nothing, not a lot of force needs to be put on this or anything like that. And then you'll do other direction here. Not a lot of elbow grease. Just take your time and let the carpet do its carpet and the product do its job. And then you'll go in the direction of the one group of diamond plate and then go in the other direction and this can just be any sort of carpet this was from one of my neighbors that had gotten ripped up at one point and he just had it left over so I'm just using it so you just do that go over it for a little bit so you'll see it turns your carpet pretty black but this is the same piece I've done the rest of the toolbox with so far but the other top and half of this top so it'll no just because it's black doesn't mean it work uh, doesn't work anymore or anything like that so next and um, I'll use this rag for now but it's getting pretty dirty I'll have to switch out to another one but you'll start with the the cleaner side and you'll just start to wipe it and get up some of that black residue that you just created so you can see how dirty that just got so then I'll flip it over, flip it try to find a cleaner side so these sides I haven't been used this too much so now I'm going to use this side here and you're just going to kind of do the same thing just do your different directions and polish this area that you've just done You'll see it pulls up even more black so now I'm going to use this clean side here go in the different directions that way your rag really gets all that residue that you just had gets it up And that is it. So right there you can see the difference as far as what we had before and what we've got now. And you can see right here there's basically no reflection of this bottle. But you bring it over here 
I mean, you can see, I mean, right there, you can basically see the halfway point of a shine and no shine. So, I mean, over here, 20 something years old, I mean, there's nothing. Barely, I mean, you can see the yellow label a little bit on there, but nothing. You bring it over here, you can see the whole bottle. So, then I've done top over here on this lid, and I mean, you can see the reflection. Like I said, this is a 20 something year old box. So, still got a long ways to go, but just want to make a short, short, quick video showing you guys these two products. So, you got California Customs um aluminum deoxidizer and purple metal polish like i said you can find those on amazon about 18 dollars for both of these bottles and all you need is a i just used a rubber glove um microfiber rag and then just some sort of a regular cloth that won't not microfiber and a piece of carpet so that's it see ya